Hello, and thank you for joining us. I'm Aliyah Flores, and welcome to In Good Health with McLaren Macomb. We're joined by Dr. Blair DeYoung, a cardiologist with McLaren Macomb, and he is here to tell us about how to combat heart disease. Welcome, Dr. DeYoung. Could you just share with us a little bit about your background? Sure. I'm an interventional cardiologist at McLaren Macomb. Okay. I've been in practice for eight years. Um, I went to medical school at Michigan State, and uh, I do a lot of procedures in the cardiac catheterization lab at McLaren Macomb. Okay, sounds good. So as we know, heart disease is the number one killer here in the country, and as well as Macomb County. Uh, could you just share with us some of the symptoms of heart disease? Well, the classic symptom of heart disease, or heart attack, mm -hmm. is chest pain, uh, what we call angina, uh, which is low blood flow to the heart. Uh, but also you can have symptoms of shortness of breath, dizziness, um, indescript pain. Uh, women and uh, the elderly and diabetics tend to have atypical symptoms, meaning mm -hmm. not the normal chest discomfort. So they can be a little harder to diagnose. Okay. And how can these symptoms, or um, how can they be treated now? Uh, what kind of procedures are being used currently? Um, well, we have medication, and that's usually first line uh, for uh, angina and heart disease. Okay. But we also have procedures, um, cardiac catheterization, stents, um, open heart surgery, uh, which is the traditional method. Uh, but as time goes on and techniques become more um, day-to-day -day practice where we do complex interventions, uh, stenting is becoming more popular. Okay. So I know that uh, lifestyle attributes to heart disease, mm -hmm. and according to the American Heart D Association, heart disease is preventable for most people. Could you just share with us some of the changes that we might need to make to our lifestyle uh, so that we will not be uh, more you know, advantageous to have heart disease? Sure. I mean, a healthy diet is most important. Okay. Uh, exercise. Um, we do have a major problem with obesity or over being, mm -hmm. uh, patients being overweight, especially in Macomb County. Um, so diet and exercise are number one. Um, there are other things we can modify, such as uh, tobacco abuse. Um, but just overall living a healthy lifestyle is important. Are your patients very compliant? For the most part, yes. Okay. So they do listen to you when you're telling yes. them all these signs and symptoms. Okay. So we also know that patients living uh, with heart disease experience total occlusion. Could you just share with us uh, what this uh, procedure is like and what the physical symptoms are? Sure. Um, chronic total occlusions are heart blood vessels that have been uh, blocked for more than three months. Mm. Um, and these cause a lot of symptoms for patients. Mm. Um, they're usually patients who have had chronic heart disease. They've had prior bypass surgery, prior interventions. Mm -hmm. um, they just have arteries that we commonly refer to as arteries having natural bypasses. Mm -hmm. um, they're difficult to treat. They were usually treated with medications, but patients still had significant symptoms even though they were on uh, medications. Okay. Um, now we have newer procedures to open these blood vessels. Okay, so it sounds like this is a pretty uh, minimally invasive uh, procedure. Yes. And kind of uh, with a tremendous upside yes. as well it, for the patients. Correct. Okay, uh, so what are some of the benefits of this specific procedure uh, compared to some of the traditional treatments available? Like I said before, most of these patients have had chronic heart disease. Okay. They've had bypasses in the past. To have a second bypass is almost uh, prohibitive at times. Uh, sometimes they just have one artery that's been blocked, and like I said, they were treated with medications. Mm -hmm. Now we have newer procedures, which is the traditional angioplasty and stenting, but it has we have new guide wires, new device, devices to cross these blockages. Uh, the success rate with these blockages used to be about 50%. Now we're in the 90% rate. Mm -hmm. um, we have a very good success rate at McLaren Macomb. We're almost 100% which is fantastic. Um, a lot of these patients have chronic shortness of breath and they get marked improvement after you fix these blood vessels. So when your patients are coming to see you and they've experienced certain signs and symptoms, would you say they're, they're catching it at a good time before any type of uh, problems down, further down the road happen or occur? Sure. Um, heart disease presents in a lot of different ways. Um, some uh, presents acutely through the emergency department, and we take care of it then with a primary angioplasty, which is for a heart attack. 
some of these patients have chronic symptoms, and yet, yes, it does take some time for them to come in to see their cardiologist who diagnoses them with either chronic angina or uh, heart failure. Uh, the patients with chronic total occlusions, um, they tend to come from everywhere, and they and different subsets of physicians refer them. Mm -hmm. It's either their primary cardiologist, it may be uh, a pulmonologist, uh, because like I said, a lot of them have shortness of breath. So they do present in different ways. Um, and they do have uh, marked functional uh, um, debility. I mean, they're not able to do what they used to do. So it may take, take some time, mm -hmm. but for the most part, patients do uh, present uh, in a timely manner. Okay. Well, we certainly appreciate you coming out today to share your viewpoints on heart disease with us. And thank you for your time today. Great. Thank you very much. For more information, visit mclaren.org slash Macomb Heart.